Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. What's going on, everybody? Uh, This is The Objective Jerk, and I am said jerk. I used to say that every time, and then I forget sometimes. But um, if you'd like to email me, please do at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com, or message me on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, True Social, whatever. Whether I'm, I'm on something usually. <laughs> um. So some of you might be wondering, dude, what's up with the hat? So the hat is kind of, it's for me as I'm editing. Not that I do a lot of editing, but I um. As I am kind of, I've just, I've been editing or grabbing videos thinking it was the video I just did and I end up making, processing one I had already done. So I usually kind of make sure I kind of wear a a different hat or something to kind of, especially anything recent that I've done. So that's why. (laughs) Anyway, um... Let's see. Email. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. So it's been a few days. Um, haven't really done podcasts. I've been getting some more views on Rumble, which is cool. And, and I'm getting a few more downloads. I don't know if I think because my Apple, um, it's being distributed on Apple podcast. Like it takes a while for that to go through. I had all this stuff before and then I quit the podcast and now here I am trying to do it all over again. I was starting to kind of build... Not a following, but, you know, it was getting there. I, there were some episodes that were like 100 and something downloads per episode. And right now I'm at like 10, 5 or whatever. So, yeah, I might have I might have really screwed myself there. But, oh, well, it's not, again, that's not the point. The point is just to give me something to do and to get things off my chest. So, um. Let's see. So, um, yeah, I've been, haven't been doing much. My, my depression I think is in, so here's the thing. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about depression too much, but I guess some people, you know, helps maybe. But, um, so a while back I, I quit taking all my antidepressant medicine. Um, just because it was like, I don't know. I just, I was taking so much crap and it just like, it didn't really seem like it was helping. Like it did at first, but then it was just kind of like, it didn't help the depression. It just changed it, you know? And so I got, I, you know, I didn't just cut it cold turkey because that's supposedly bad. So I, you know, I just, you know, cut it down a little bit for a while and then cut it down and then got rid of it. So, and I think it's like, like I'm in a depression mood now, but I'm not nowhere near as bad as I was when I was under the antidepressants. Like I'm just no motivation, you know, it's like I'm trying to find something to do. Nothing really is like nothing really kind of, I don't know. It just kind of sucks, but it's not as bad though. Like I'm, eh, you know, I'm, I'm just not like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, it's like, if, you know, it took me, I was like, you know what? I think I'm in my, my depression mode right now, but it's just, it's not as bad. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, so I've just been kind of really trying to find something to, to, to motivate me to kind of, I don't know. It's just, you know, when I don't want to go outside when it's hot because I sweat so much. I don't even want to leave my room because that's the only place we have AC right now. We have an AC in, in the living room to kind of do the whole house, but we're slowly um, doing work on the house. And right now we can't like seal it up so we could turn on the air conditioning, but then it would just kind of, you know, there's lots of, it'd be a waste. We'd be air conditioning at the outside basically. So we can't do, have that on. So, you know, on days that it's hot, I find myself in my room more. And then when I'm depressed, it's, that's even more the case, you know. But it's just like, 
You can't find anything to watch. Nothing really. It sucks because just nothing really grabs. And you just have no interest in anything. And it just kind of sucks. But like I said, it's not quite as bad as it's been for the last couple of years with those antidepressants. Like I don't. I guess that they help some people. Um, and I thought it was at first for me, but no, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it wasn't helping me. Um, and it was my choice. I remember going to the psychiatrist at the, the VA and they asked me and I was like, I was willing because it just, you know, I, I went through a bad depression, you know, I don't know why just, just did. And maybe it was cause I quit that job. You know, I've been working law enforcement and security for the army as either as en enlisted or as a civilian for a long time. From 2002 till 2018, 19, something like that. And so, but it's like, you know, I had issues with my back, wearing like second chance vests and just certain armor and this and that. Just, I don't know. I think my brain was just going through a reset or something. Who knows? But but I remember I went through like a pretty like bad depression, and so I was like, you know, yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, yeah, I'll try anything, you know, just see get something to work. And honestly, for me, I think a psychologist, someone to talk to about stuff, and Jesus has been the best thing for me. I've been, you know, trying to read the Bible. I try and read it every day. Uh, I don't, I don't every day, but, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, every other day or I do go through like periods where I won't read it for like a week or two or something, but it's been a while since that happened. Um, but so that's kind of what's going on with me. So I've been trying to find something to get my interest. So I started playing Call of Duty, World War II Call of Duty on my son's PlayStation, I'm, like trying to play it more. And I've actually been playing it for like a month or so, but we were playing offline and I was kind of having fun and we were playing, you know, we could play together and we play bots and stuff like that. And, but the, it gets to a point where it's like, man, you want to kind of play with other people. You want to play online, you know? And plus then you get to unlock certain things. Like we didn't have access to certain like weapons and just certain things it's, you get more from playing online. Plus it's, you know, you're playing people, not not robots that actually know where you are, kind of. But people online, they know where you are, too. <laughs> so I've been playing offline for a little bit. Kind of getting back into it, you know what I mean? Like, I hadn't played in a while. You know, I used to, um, you know, I grew up with video games in my life, but I wasn't, like, a crackhead about it. You know, I remember growing up and playing... <clears throat> Mario Brothers and, and on the original Nintendo, Contra, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, things like that. And then I had a Sega. I always went against the grain. I don't know why. Everybody had a Super Nintendo. I got a Sega Genesis. Um, had Mortal Kombat 2, I think. And uh stuff like that. And I, I would play, but not not like I said, not like a crackhead, not all the time. And then my cousin, who he's a gamer, um, and but he's not like a he's not crazy about it. Like I like to play games, but I'm not crazy about it. He's a gamer, but he's not crazy about it. You know, he has a family and a job, and he's he's you know dependable. Um, and what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, but so he you know he he has a PC and he likes having a nice PC and he plays games on there and stuff. And look, it's just it's you know beyond me but like when I was a teenager we spent a lot of time together during the summer because he would come over and visit his dad which is where I lived and we would play like the original um, Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2 you know and I remember playing that a lot like kind of getting that in like uh, Twisted Metal is that what it is the cars and stuff and stuff like that so it was um, you know but then he would leave, and then that would be kind of it. I wouldn't really play games that much. And um, then it was like, then when I was in the Army, uh, Xbox came out. And there was, I had a little bit more 
money or time to play, I guess. And I remember there was a Bruce Lee game that came out on Xbox. So I wanted the Xbox. And so I played that, which actually wasn't that good of a game. Um, and then, uh, was it? Oh, so Siphon Filter, which was a game on PlayStation. That was one that I really liked. And then Splinter Cell, which was kind of like Siphon Filter is on Xbox. And then... I didn't get another Xbox until I was married. My wife got it for me for Christmas. So this was like 2007, eight or something like that. And I got the Halo Edition 360, Xbox 360. So I had that for a bit. I played some Halo, got into Halo, got into Halo when I was in the Army. Well, no, I did play when I was in Iraq too. And that's when I had my original Xbox. That was probably the funnest I had playing video games. We like... So our whole platoon was in this, like, um, I don't know even how to explain it, but just kind of like a, kind of like an old hotel, like an outdoor hotel that would just have rooms. You know, you'd walk underneath the cover and there'd just be room, room, door, room. So it was like two rows of that. That was like where our platoon was at. So we had one half of the platoon on one side, one half on the other. And we, we got, um, the ethernet cable and we connected like four Xboxes together and then there'd be like, you know, two, at least two to four people per Xbox. And we'd all play each other on Halo. We'd sit there and play and then we'd get down and we'd come out and we'd all bullshit and talk shit and everything like that. And and uh, that was a lot of fun. That was probably the funnest I've had uh, playing. And then um, playing with stuff again, making noises. Oh, I'm trying not to do that. And then um, then I got my 360 after that. And then I didn't really kind of play too much. I had the 360. I'd play Halo occasionally, but, you know, just, I don't know. And then my cousin, the one I talked about before, then he moved to where we were at. He actually lived with me briefly. And he's the one that's like, dude, you should play Call of Duty online. It's a lot of fun. And that's the first time I got a test of Call of Duty online. And, um, you know, just like anything else, you suck at first and you're trying to I don't know. It's just like it's it's uphill battle. But then you start getting better. You start learning the, the levels and you start learning little tricks and this and that. So I remember, you know, playing that. And my oldest, he was too young to play really. And then I remember my second oldest kid, like sometimes he would like have night terrors and stuff sometimes. And was really like wanting to be held and stuff like that. So like there'd be sometimes where I'd have to like hold him and I'd sit there. And I would hold him in my arms and have the controller in my hand. I would just sit there and play Call of Duty while he was laying in my arms, you know, to keep him from crying. And I wanted that sub subconsciously or subliminal, subliminal, what's the word? Subliminal, subliminally, like infected him because, <laughs> because now he's like really good. So, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So. You know, that's about it. That's kind of, you know, I'd play a little, and then it kind of, and then I didn't play, you know, and then years go by, my kids get older and they start playing, you know, like, hey dad, you want to play? And I'm just like, mm. this is kind of like when I was going through a really, I think my depression period, like I just didn't really want, and I was like, I had no interest and it sucked because like, you know, hang out with my kids. I mean, I play a little bit, but it's just, I don't know when you're depressed, it's like, it's hard to be, um, gratuitous and giving or, 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 you know, self sacrificing. That's not the right word, but you know, it's like you play with your kids because you're, you're, you you want to spend time with your kids, whether it's a stupid game or not, you know, you're still, you're spending time with your kids. And even that was just like, it's hard for me. And like, I don't want, I just can't do it. I don't know. It's just, it sucks. There's a, you know, this is a, a point I'm trying to make, not really a point, but there, there's a reason I'm giving this whole big story. Just doing a little, little painting the picture a little bit, you know, of what I've been doing the last week. So, um, so that's kind of how it was. And then just, so then, like I said, recently I started playing again. I was like, you know what? I don't do shit. So, you know, may as well as like start playing. And so my son, or I bought him Call of Duty World War II a couple of years ago or something. And I played it a little bit when he first got it, but like I said, it just it's just not in me to play video games like it used to be. Um, so I'm just trying to do it more to to bond with my kids. So 
So then that's where we were at. So then for now, for about two weeks, somewhere around there, we've had the online. So we've been playing Call of Duty online. And it, I don't know, for, for people that don't know, this is going to be kind of hard to explain, I think. But um, it's just, you know, first of all, I, I kind of thought like being Call of Duty World War II it would be a little more not Fortnite, you know? So people are still like, they get stuff and they dress up and do dances and crap their characters and stuff like that. And I'm like, what the, I don't know. So it's kind of annoying, but, but there's still like, it's, I used to be pretty decent. I got to a point when I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, that I was, I was pretty good. You know, I'd, I'd win some battles and, you know, I was decent, right? But now it's like, like my son, and probably a lot of people online and people my age too, I guess, but it's just, it's, 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 it's like a whole different level. Like my, my brain does not work that way. So it's like when I play like Call of Duty, I play as if I'm there and I, I'm up, he sees me, I'm down, I get some cover, I'm looking, I'm doing this, kind of going over here, you know, there's a bad guy, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. I don't really look at the radar that much. Because, you know, you don't have a radar in real life. So I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking this and that. And I'm just getting, like, killed. Like, people are hopping and jumping and laying down and just doing all this crazy crap. And I'm just getting massacred. And I'm getting angry and frustrated, you know. So, but then what's crazy is, like, so I'll be playing a little bit. So I, I kind of, like, I gave myself a goal. So when, when, you, when you start online, you start with nothing. You just have a couple of the guns. You don't have any attachments. You don't have any perks, which kind of help you a better person or different different skill sets and this and that. So you have to you have to play to acquire them. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna at least get all the guns opened and and get everybody leveled up and this and that. So that was kind of like my goal. And so I've been working towards that, and I've gotten a little better. But it's like it's like I know, I know what you have to do to be a better player. I just, a little bit of me just doesn't want to, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I don't want to jump up and down and, and lay down and do all these weird, stupid things that in real life you wouldn't do, <laughs> you know, even though it's a game, I get it. And then part of me just can't, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'll sit there and I'll play and I'll do okay you know, uh, and whatever. And then it's like a level will come up in my middle child. I'm like, oh, I don't hate this level. And he's like, I'll play. Let me play. And then he, it's like, it's like giving the controller over to Neo in the matrix. Like he, he, and he, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but like he's moving and looking and he's looking at the radar. It's like, he's got one eye on the radar, one eye on the screen. And he's looking and he can see where people are at. And he does all the, the crazy stuff that people, you know, the other characters do that drive me nuts. But he does it and he sits there and like, well, take someone out, reloads, jumps up here, goes to the stairs. All of a sudden he jumps out a window. There's a guy there, kills him, goes in. And like, he's just all over the place. And I'm just like, how do you see all this going on? And like, he's moving so fast that it's making me sick. Like, like I'm getting like, like motion sickness. And I'm just like. How how do you how do you do that? <laughs> you know, it's like it's just it, it blows my mind. Like I don't know. It's he's just he's completely on another level, and he is who I'm playing against. You know, all these other people, whatever they're probably just like him, and they're doing this crap, and it's just like, and then he'll go and he'll just tear it up. You know, and I'm sitting there and I'm playing, and it shows you like how good your internet connection is, and. Ours isn't that great. Sometimes it is. Most time it's not. And I'm always like, gosh, man, if I had if I had better internet, I'd be doing better, you know, and this and that. And but then I'll give the controller to him with the same amount of internet, and he just like wipes everybody out. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. I just it's uh, it's not in me. It just isn't. I don't know. Um, I'm more. So now I'm looking at trying to get like the Hitman games, like more sneaky, slow storyline kind of figure stuff out kind of game. 
is more for me. This running and, and, and jumping and doing all this kind of crazy. It's just like, it's like, I can't, my brain doesn't think that fast, you know? And like, there's another, um, or another, another example of my brain not being able to, to just compute that is I'm, I, you know, I used to, I used to read comics and I used to draw, I used to be a pretty good artist. I don't really do it anymore. And my, I don't know if it's my depression or like my, just my attention, my ADD or something. That's just like, I'll start something. I'll start drawing and I don't like it and I'll stop. And then whatever this, I don't know. I just, I don't have the focus. I'll have the focus for like a day, maybe two. And then it just, whoosh, it's gone. And it's kind of annoying. So, but I have all these ideas in my brain. And, and these pictures in my mind and this and that. And I want to make a little something about a woman from here in the Philippines. I think, I don't know if I talked about it on this podcast. Did I? I might have. But she she's like a World War II hero, you know. And um, there's just really nothing about her. So I was like, you know what? I want to make a cool picture of her. And I was thinking about drawing it. And I'm probably still going to, though. But... Um, but the AI, you know, you see these AI pictures and I'm like, man, you know what? I'm going to give that a try. So like I downloaded like a, an, uh, an app that was on Mac on the app, you know, the app store. And, you know, you get three free days, three days of free trial. And then you can pay. And it was like 40 bucks for a year or something like that. So I just tried it for the day, putting in, you know, description, this and that. And it would kind of, it would come up with some cool stuff, kind of close to what I'm thinking. But it could never quite get there. And then it was like, then all of a sudden it would just totally mess it up and it's just not working. I'm like, gosh. So I, I canceled that. And then my buddy, he tells me to get on Discord, which I didn't even know what it was. I mean, I've heard of it. I just never. He's like, get on Discord and look up Mid Journey. So I was like, Okay, so I get on, I find out what Discord is, I download Disc, I download Discord, and I look up Mid Journey, and I just have, I don't know if anybody has looked at Discord. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty decent with like user friendly computers and technology, right? Like, I can I can get around a computer, documents, finding you know different certain things, you know, using using the stuff that most people use every day if that makes any sense um but as far as like like the the hacker game or stuff i am just i'm just not there my brain is not there as 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 apparent with like the call of duty the, you know the game so i'm looking at the screen for Discord and it's you know it's set up similar to you know Facebook and and all the things that you use but it's just it's a lot smaller there's a lot more information and it's just like it's for people like people that actually do coding probably read it really easy I don't like I'm just looking at it and I'm sitting there okay looking at this I click on this I'm like hold on what does this do over here you know, I'm trying to move the mouse over or something to hover so it'll say, this does this, which it doesn't, <laughs> you know. And I'm I, I I just like I don't know how to read it or look at it. It's like you have you have you have channels or something, and then you have bots that do I don't know. Like it's just I just I it's just like my brain just, just does not compute that. It's like my brain only has so much RAM and it doesn't have enough to do that. My brain will cannot be upgraded. I only have, you know, 200 megabytes of RAM and that's it. So it's like, I've just, I've reached my limit. And so I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm trying to watch YouTube videos on how to use Discord and how to do the thing. And then so I'm, I spent like a day, not a day, but a good portion of the day. I was messing with that one AI and I was looking at Discord and I was just like, gosh. And then my oldest son, I'm like, dude, can you look at this? And he, he could still kind of read it. And then he looked up and. This and that. So, like, the Discord was, like, for... You could use it for free because it's kind of a, a beta um, program. And... But there were so many people, I guess, that were using it or wanted to use it. You have to... You got to pay for the plan. So, he brought up the little thing 
you know, to show you the pay plans and stuff. And I'm just like, how did you get there? Like how, you know, I was on Discord for like an hour or so just trying to navigate through it. And it just, I can't do it. My brain is just like, I don't know. I just can't do it. I don't know. But that's it. Uh, I usually go till about 25 minutes and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So, um, yeah, so that's me and, and my boomer brain, even though I'm not a boomer, but I am, I'm, you know, generation X, which I guess is a boomer for the young kids. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm able to do this podcast and figure this kind of stuff out, but the discord and, 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 and like the gaming, uh, it's just, I can't do it. I just can't. (laughs) I don't know. Anyway. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, please email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com or you can message me on Twitter, Facebook, social media, <laughs> True Social, uh, Instagram. You can find my videos on YouTube and Rumble, all that stuff. So anyway, all right. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.